You will not believe how easy it is to create a date table in Power BI. I have spent countless hours creating date tables for all my projects and today I'm going to share with you the quick ways, the advanced way and my preferred way of creating one. So without any further ado, get your mouse and keyboard ready and we'll start by using the quickest and easiest method which is the calendar auto function. To start, let's go to the modeling tab and select new table. In the formula bar, we simply need to type in the calendar name and I'll name this calendar one and then equals to calendar auto, hit tab, close the brackets, press enter and there you have it. Power BI generated a calendar table based on the date range in your model and the date hierarchy containing the year, quarter, month and date. But while calendar auto function in Power BI is incredibly useful for quickly generating dynamic calendar tables, there are some drawbacks to consider. This calendar can't be customized. What does it mean? It means that if you require to add a column for fiscal year, for example, you won't be able to add it. And this leads to another drawback, which is if you require to filter your data based on the fiscal year, for example, then you'll have to come up with more complicated DAX expressions. The second method is to use the calendar function, so let's head back to the modeling tab and select new table. In the formula bar, type calendar2 equals calendar, and then 1st of the 1st 2019, which is the start date, comma, 31st of December 2024, which will be the last date of our calendar. Close the parentheses and press enter. As you can see, Power BI has created a new table called Calendar 2 with the date column spanning from the start date to the end date that we put in the formula. But again, this will have the same drawbacks as the first method and I would only recommend it if you are in a hurry and you don't have the time to develop a proper date calendar. So far, we've explored two time-efficient methods, but now it's time to get to the big leagues and unlock the full potential of Power Query. Get ready for two different approaches of creating a date table in Power Query, one better than the other. Open the Power Query, click on the new source and select Blank Query. First, we need to define two variables, which are the start date and the end date. In the formula bar, type first of the first 2019. Then add a new step by clicking on FX and type 31st of December 2024. Then right click on the custom one step and rename it to end date. Perfect. Now we need to rename the source to start date and for that we need to go to the view tab and click on the advanced editor. Over here we replace source with start date and then press done. Now for the third and final step, press on FX again and type in list.dates, open the brackets and then we need a start date which will be the start date parameter, then the duration, so type in duration.days which will calculate the number of days between the end date and the start date and then the steps which in our case are full days and you can type in hashtag duration, open brackets, one day, zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. Make sure you close all the brackets and press enter. As you can see, now we have a list of all the dates between 1st of January 2019 and 31st of December 2024. The last step we need to take is to rename it and convert it to table. Let's change the query name to calendar tree and then press to table. Let's open the add column tab. Then double click on the column header and rename it to date. And there you have it, the calendar table. But unlike with the first two options, now you have the option to change your calendar. And let me show you a few things that you could do. With the date column selected, press on date on the ribbon and add a year. Repeat the process for quarter, month, month name, day and day name. And you can go even further and extract the first three characters of the month name. This will prove very useful when you will use month to display data in a bar chart, for example. Additionally, there are numerous possibilities to explore, such as incorporating fiscal years, quarters and months, as well as configuring working days and holidays. 
However, we'll set these aside for the moment as I'm excited to introduce you to something even more powerful. But all your effort you've put into creating your calendar table will be wasted if your data isn't transformed correctly. So if you're interested in seeing a step-by-step -step transformation process from start to finish, click on the banner and watch the data cleaning in Power BI video. Back to the task at hand, open your web browser and navigate to forum.enterprisedna.com. Then in the search bar type extended date table. Scroll down and find the extended date table Power Query M function thread. Here you'll discover one of the most exceptional calendar tables available, if not the finest, thanks to Melissa de Corte. I'd like to express my gratitude to her for creating this invaluable resource. Melissa generously dedicated a considerable amount of time to assembling and sharing this calendar, which has been a true lifesaver. So, copy the code and head back to Power Query. Open your new blank query. Open the advanced editor. Select and paste the code you copied earlier. Once you press OK, all you need to do is enter the start date, 1st of the 1st, 2019. Then the end date, 31st of December 2024, fiscal year start date, let's say 4UK each 7, and the start working day which is 1. Then press invoke. You'll notice that your date calendar now appears much more impressive featuring additional columns that many of you may not even have the opportunity to utilize. Simply rename your query, calendar 4 for me, and click close and apply. The beauty of this approach lies in its versatility as you can implement the code in all your projects. In my opinion, this is unequivocally the most effective method of creating a comprehensive date calendar in Power BI. Once again, a huge thank you to Melissa for her invaluable contribution. Oh, and I nearly forgot, please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and ring the notification bell if you want to see more video like this. Thank you for watching, I'm Stellian, signing off, until next time, cheerio!